Hey everyone, I want to start this review off by um, discussing the message that I got from all four videos kind of put together, um, and that is that the aesthetic and the intensity of Stravinsky's music um, is something that needs to be explored extremely thoroughly, um, and I think that most of the examples that we shared would be beneficial for my students to understand that. Um, in Nijinsky's um, video with the, the preparing for the ballet, I think that the intensity of the music um, and the passion that went behind writing it is super prevalent and shown um, through the acting and the intensity of the dancing, um, also with the reaction of the audience. Um, then I want to kind of cross-reference Stravinsky's documentary and Thomas Kelly's lecture because I watched Stravinsky's document documentary first and what stuck out to me was when he was discussing um, writing the same chord 19 times, but people not analyzing it um, and understanding that the accents or it actually makes it interesting, not the sound of the chord. Um, the accents almost make it sound different throughout. Um, and then after watching Thomas Kelly's lecture, I noticed that he spent a portion of his lecture talking about that. Um, and I think that it's something my students are kind of doing on their own. They're listening to music and they're analyzing it and forming their own opinions about it, um, using terms to talk about in class. So articulation, dynamics, tempo, all things that you can kind of use to analyze Stravinsky's music without even seeing it. Um, hearing those chords and hearing those accents and forming your own opinions are an important part to um, kind of growing more mature in understanding music. Um, and lastly, Fantasia, of course, would be a fantastic tool to show my students. Um, the visual representation of the music uh, is really, 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 really good, especially um, with the volcanoes at the beginning match and those accents of the chord. And then at the end, when they um, show the dinosaurs after them evolving, um, matching the style of the, even the dinosaurs' movements, just flying, um, the bigger ones moving to the style of the music is super important. So I hope you enjoyed my analysis. Bye.